This is Hialeah. The increasing interest in thoroughbred racing as a spectator and participant sport has given rise to the activity of the breeding farm. As recently as 1956, there were only 10 such establishments in Florida. Now the figure stands at well over 100 throughout the state. With growth comes improvement in the bloodlines of broodmares and the excellence of the stallions. One of the state's most famous residents is Carryback, the equine millionaire who thrilled millions of people with his famous come from behind finishes. Carryback was bred at Ocala, Florida and first started to race at Hialeah Park where he turned in some of his most thrilling victories. and trainers throughout the world are focusing their attention on Hialeah and these farms as breeding, training, and racing centers. During the course of a year, these breeding farms in Central Florida spend over $5 million on feed, farm equipment, gas, oil, lumber, veterinarians, blacksmiths, and general payroll. This then is big industry. Such magnificent breeding establishments as Reverie Knoll, formerly Rosemere Stud. Tartan Farm, home of the world record holder, intentionally. Harborview Farms, owned by Lewis Wolfson of Jacksonville, one of the country's top stables. Bonnie Heath's Farm. This is the home of Needles. Here he is, the first Florida bred to win the Flamingo at Hialeah and the Kentucky Derby. The young thoroughbred is carefully handled and trained. This is a delicate product to be sold to the highest bidder. After reaching this stage, the youngster is usually sent to a breeder's sale where the racing fraternity gather for a match of wits and dollar bills. Such a sale is conducted two nights annually by the Florida Breeders Sales Association. In 1962, the management of Hialeah Park built this new auction pavilion designed by Hialeah President Eugene E. Morey. Its functional design and location on the track grounds has brought praise from owners, trainers, and breeders alike. The atmosphere during the sale is alive with excitement, and no wonder, for the interest is keen. The bidding is fast, and well over three quarters of a million dollars changes hands. Anybody want to buy a horse? The erection of this building was a natural step since Hialeah is already looked upon by these same people as a proving ground for the young thoroughbred just making a debut. At 13, 13, 5. At 13, but you get 13, 5, but it. At 13, but you go 5, but you go 5, but you get 5 now. We're at 13, 13, 5, but you do it. At 13, but you go 5, but you give me 5 for me. $13,000 dance. You went back in at 13, 5. 13, 5. At 13, 5, did you do it? At 13, but you get 13, 5, but $13,000 dance. At 5, you want me $13,000 in quick. 5, you want me 13. Hialeah Breeders Sales Association Sales Association. For the young thoroughbred, the work begins. 
For the season campaigner, it continues. Through the early morning haze, many eyes follow the fleeting movements of exercise boy and horse. The trainer, sometimes the owner, but always the clocker, who with uncanny memory in the recognition of horses, makes note of time and distance for the information of all concerned. Yes, these are thoroughbreds. They represent an industry. They are an investment reaching into the millions. They are owned and trained by people, carefully ridden, washed, groomed, and fed by people. They are cheered by people. We would like you to meet two of the most famous people connected with this sport. First, the man who is known throughout the world as the Dean of Trainers an octogenarian who since 1932 has held court at Barn A under the same tree in the stable area of Hialeah Park. Sonny Jim Fitzsimmons, known to the world as Mr. Fitz. We come in here 30, 30 years and I, I bring 20, 20, 20, 25 young horses, yearlings every year to develop them here. And if it wasn't for High high layer, I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd be out of business. Well, we have plenty of stakes here. They have as much good as stakes here as any place they race. I'm like, where's that? Most all the big people in races comes here every year. And it looks like I don't think they stay for the other meetings. They might, but I, I know they're here for this meeting, all of them. Next door is another man who for many years has guided the Calumet colors to victory at Hialeah, H.A. Jimmy Jones. Calumet's been coming here to Florida for... I guess a quarter of a century or more. Uh, we've uh, enjoyed the weather, and, uh, and uh, certainly it's, it's great for horses. To me, uh, uh, highly it represents probably the greatest thing in racing. I think it uh, does to the uh, to all horsemen, and quite likely uh, it's been my uh, uh, understanding from visiting with people from all over the world that this represents uh, probably the finest thing in racing, or one, at least one of the finest. If Hylia weren't here, I don't know where we would be in the wintertime. I, I, it's been tradition with us and it's tradition with, uh, with many people to come here for Hylia. It's, uh, I notice that uh, when Hylia opens, uh, uh, people flock in that day for uh, the boxes are all filled, the seats are filled. And you know, that seems to be the opening of the season. And to me, it's uh, traditionally the finest in racing. Calumet has been very fortunate We've had seven winners of the Widener. And uh, I, I think probably maybe three, if I'm not mistaken, winners of the Flamingo, maybe more. I'm, uh, I've been a great believer in the, the track itself here at Hylia for many years. By virtue of the fact that the track itself is, is uh, very kind to their legs. It's a, one of the finest I know of in the world. <laughs> There is beauty at Hialeah. The colorful flamingo fountain is known the world over. The beautiful palm line drives act as a welcoming committee for the thousands of fans. Many of these people, coming from the four corners of America, arrange their annual winter vacations to coincide with the Hialeah racing season. Not only is Hialeah a big attraction for the seven-week racing season, but the other 45 weeks of the year, it is world-renowned as a free sightseeing center. In fact, Hialeah Park attracts nearly a million visitors annually, as many as any other tourist attraction in Florida. To all, Hialeah is not only a tradition, it is almost a way of life. Visit Hialeah once or a dozen times 
there are always new sights to see. On display in the shipwreck aquarium are hundreds of live tropical fish. This represents the world's finest collection of coral reef fish. The camera bugs have a field day, photographing the brilliant tropical birds in Hialeah's aviary. The favorite is the long-limbed flamingo. These rare birds are synonymous with Hialeah. In addition to the clubhouse dining terrace, the grandstand restaurant, and the many snack bars, this sidewalk cafe is a most popular and charming meeting place. Still another attraction is the carriage exhibit. This priceless display includes picturesque stagecoaches and English carriages used by the royal family. There's even a beauty shop for milady and a barber shop for the gentleman. Yes, all this and much more for the entertainment, information, and enjoyment of the people who visit Hialeah. The glamorous side is the beauty, comfort, and the thrill of watching the thoroughbred thundering down the stretch. But Hialeah is also a business, one which contributes over $6 million a year in revenue to the state of Florida. Hialeah's contribution to date over the years exceeds $100 million. Let's look at Hialeah's racing dollar. After 85 cents is returned to the public, money is set aside for United States taxes, operating expenses, and horsemen's purse money. Of each $1 wagered, the state's revenue is eight cents, with three cents to the counties, divided equally among the 67 counties in Florida, and five cents going to old age assistance. Not only is the money used by the state to build public schools, but roads and bridges as well. The senior citizens of Florida are not forgotten either. Their late years are made easier and more comfortable thanks to the old age assistance coming from thoroughbred racing through that partnership of Hialeah Park and the state. The splendor, the pageantry, the excitement of a day at Hialeah not only envelops the many thousands in attendance, but through the magic eye of television captures the imagination of millions throughout the country. Under the imaginative guidance, Hialeah Park has achieved its position as one of the leading thoroughbred attractions in the world. Eugenie Morey, President. Chairman of the board, Mr. Gene Morey. Walter H. Donovan, Vice President, former Secretary of the Florida Racing Commission. Also dedicated to the betterment of thoroughbred racing in Hialeah Park is Charles P. Likes of Tampa, a member of the Board of Directors. Mr. Likes of the famous Florida Likes family with shipping, cattle, citrus, and many other interests. Other board members include Ralph W. Crum, former President of the First National Bank of Miami. Fred W. Hooper, retired Florida road contractor. P.A.B. Widener III of Ocala and Palm Beach, a prominent Florida breeder whose Normandy-style barns are among the finest in the world. And Michael Phipps of the famous Florida Phipps family with important holdings all over the state. It's Flamingo Day. 
That means the leading three-year-old racehorses of America are about to pit their heart and stamina against each other in the famous Flamingo Stakes. This great event has been the stepping stone to fame and fortune for animal, owner, and trainer. The victory roster reads as the who's who of the turf world. Citation. Needles. Won by Arm, Coltown, Nashua, Yorkie, Bardstown, Bald Eagle, Bow Purple. Another great event at Hialeah. Yes, this is Hialeah. It's flamingos, it's stately grace and breathtaking beauty. It's top stables, trainers, jockeys. It's great stakes attractions. And it's noteworthy contribution to the economy. It's traditional racing dates. And it's importance on the social calendar. It's unchallenged position at the top in thoroughbred racing. And it's place